Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I got a, just a quick video for you all today. Um, if you haven't already guessed, it's on the Tama Iron Cobra Chrome Edition. Uh, I've wanted one of these for quite a while now and looked around and finally found one that I was interested in and um, purchased it uh, off eBay actually last week. And um, there's not really any good uh, unboxing videos on YouTube that I found and most of them that I found are several years old and the quality's not that great so I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of do one here and the, this one that I actually ended up purchasing I don't know if y'all can tell but it's still it's still in the original box it was I think these were made maybe like between 2004 and 2006 somewhere right in there but the gentleman that purchased this one um, basically bought it and never opened it. So I'm not going to lie, I have, I have peeked inside of it to make sure, you know, it was correct and everything. But I, um, the tape had never been broken on the box. It had never been opened, never been out. So we're going to do a first-hand real unboxing like it would have been in 04 and, uh, or 06, whenever it was. And... Uh, kind of get the full experience here and I'm going to show you all, you know, how it came straight from the factory and what accessories were included, if any, and how it was packaged and everything. So I just thought it would be a pretty neat video to, to kind of put out there for just kind of everybody to see. But, uh, like I said, I just, I just broke the tape on this box not 10 minutes ago and, and that was pretty exciting because you could tell it hadn't been retaped or anything like that. And, so, but anyways, uh, I'll give you all a quick, give you all a quick, uh, overview, kind of what the box looks like real quick, and then we'll jump into it. Well, like I said, Tama, this is a single, so this is a single pedal edition. I think these were made in singles and doubles. Maybe, I think there was a thousand single pedals made and 2,000 double pedals made. If that's correct, it's from the research I've done, I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but anyways, there's the box. I think, uh, like the box said, it's a 900, so all of these that were made um were 900s uh, i don't think they made any other any other models but um yeah let's crack the box open and see what she looks like so i mean we're probably gonna readjust here and all right Wow. Well, Alright. That is really cool. Okay, let's see. Okay, so definitely packed well. Uh the guy that I bought this from was a super nice guy. He had really good feedback. Um like I said, it had never been opened. He double boxed it. He he plastic wrapped it and like put it in garbage bags and sealed it and double boxed it and made sure that it, you know that it wasn't going to get wet or damaged or any way. So, uh, really good, really good seller there. That's kind of hard to find anymore sometimes. And he'll be, he'll definitely be getting good feedback on this one. So got some foam pieces up here, I guess, for just extra protection and whatnot. And then what do we have here? Okay. So there's the, there's, Tama, the strongest name in drums. Wow. All right, there's the uh, UPC code. All right, cool. Handle wrapped up here. Let's get this sucker out. Wow. Pretty heavy. 
All right, dang, heavy duty. Got some extra cardboard supports here in the box. That's nice to see. Wow. Okay, bubble wrapped up here. Like I said, this is my first one even really seeing one of these in person. I've wanted one for years and uh, just finally decided, I was like, you know, if I'm gonna get one, I wanna, I want a, I want a new one. So I lucked up, lucked upon this one, and uh, I don't know. I think this will probably go in the collection. I don't know if this will be. I don't know if this will be used, but we'll see. <coughs> so let's get the. It looks like we got some bubble wrap. Let's get off of there. Excuse my video. Uh, I'm not the best at this. I'm trying to do it working around the camera and stuff too. So bear with me, guys. We'll get it out eventually. <clears throat> to save the integrity of the bubble wrap. I'm one of those guys. I like to save packaging and boxes and stuff. Especially since this is probably going to go in collection and not be used. Alright, there she is. In all her glory. Wow. And that looks correct from what I've seen. Iron Cobra Patama. Shiny. Uh oh, I hear a pedal rattling in there. A little bit of dust here and there. Sounds like after 20 years of being in the box, it might have to be lubed up and greased just a little bit if it wants to be used. All right, moment of truth. Oh, wow. There she is. Dang. That is sweet. That is sweet. All right, let's see what we got here. Iron Cobra single petal. Let's see. Spring hook. Is this some extra? What is this? Looks like some Allen wrenches. Okay, we don't need that right now. Like, I don't know where to touch it and not get fingerprints on it. It's so shiny. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe if we grab right here. Up there. All right, let's get the case back there out of the way. Wow. That is sweet. Right, let's move the case over there out of the way so you can get a good look at this. That is crazy. Okay. Well, there's the meter. Here's the foot peg. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Okay, let's see here. Got some germs in the background, so probably going to get in a reflection of those. Okay, there's the back. Let's see what we got. Made in China. Well, aren't we all? <laughs> Look at the hoop clamp here. I think this is a fine adjustment and 
I got a wing nut here for another adjustment. Spring. Drum key. I think that's I don't I wouldn't say limited edition, but it's some kind of special drum key that was that come with these. Yeah, and then we got P900. Wow. Beater. Chain driven, double chain. Yeah. I mean, foot stop here. Some models have that. I guess maybe the higher end models have that. I'm not, I'm not 100% certain. Still got the tag on it. Wow, this is incredible. Definitely something to see. It's all shiny, brand new, not scratched up. Until I, until I scratch it myself. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. So, that's probably gonna wrap things up. I don't know, uh, I don't know what else to show. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Uh, just want to do a quick unboxing for y'all, and you know, kind of show you, kind of show you what it looked like, what it would have been like new uh, in 2006 or 2004, or whenever it was. So, yeah. If you if you guys have any more questions or want any more pictures or uh, video of this thing, let me know, and I can I can probably make that happen. Um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into it and get to adjusting it and see how it feels and maybe oil it up a little bit and get to maybe maybe play this bad boy. I don't know. I don't I haven't decided if it's going to stay on the shelf with the collection or it's going to get some use. So we'll find out. But appreciate you guys for watching and uh, be safe out there.